kids? Now there's three new Winnie the Pooh videos for playtime fun with Pooh and all his friends. Hey, it's playtime, yippee-yay time. A world of adventure is waiting for you. You'll adore these playtime stories with three times the fun and three times as much poo. Take a wild ride with Cowboy Pooh. All aboard for a fun ride on a crazy choo-choo train into the old west with Pooh and his pals. And it's Detective Tigger. He's the only one who can locate the missing honey. Amazing. He'll also find lots of laughs along the way. Then you're invited to a Pooh party. It's party time! Pooh has the perfect plan to make Rabbit's Big Bash a hopping good time. Pooh is making friends and taking a journey to somewhere exciting and new. You can go there now, you know where. Find the adventures of, can you guess who? A race time is playtime with Winnie the Pooh. Collect all three playtime videos and play along with Winnie the Pooh. Now available from Walt Disney Home Video, it's Spot. With a smile and a laugh, he can light up your day Like the sun peeking over the hill And his eyes give a wink, cause he's ready to play Come along, it will be quite a thrill There's a brand new world to discover Let's uncover what he's got Everyone is having lots of fun Disney presents Spot, now on video. And now, our feature program. And so they decided to have a party. With cake Rabbit. and ice cream? <laughs> Is it just that? Yes. And singing and dancing. Who went to the party? Everybody. Everybody was invited to celebrate 100 years of peace in the kingdom. This was a kingdom filled with music and dancing, with no time left over for grumbling and fighting. Thanks to the good King Cole. Where's 
my crown. On your head. What a touch, forgetful. Yes, indeed. Simply splendid. Peaches, have you seen my uh, crown? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bowl, pipe, fiddlers, and party, your highness. A party to celebrate well, There your... you are. <laughs> a bit fiddling around again, huh? <laughs> yes? Don't you want to help with the party? You bet. <laughs> I'm going to take the fiddlers here to rehearse. Oh. These guys are terrific. All they need is a run through. Or two. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Holly, Silky! Yes, ma'am. Did anyone remember butter? Yes, ma'am. Good. Betty Potter bought some butter. Yes. But she said the butter's bitter. Oh? If I put it in my batter, it will make my batter bitter. But I am so confused. I... But a bit of better butter, that would make my batter better. Uh... So she bought a bit of butter better than her bitter butter. And she put it in her batter, and the batter was not bitter. But it was better Betty Potter bought a bit of better butter. Hey! Oh. Yes, quite. Thank you. I think. No! Oh! oh. my tea. I had it in my hand just a moment ago. Well, don't worry, dear. Oh. We've plenty of tea. Oh. Uh, Polly, mm. Suki! Yes, ma'am? The king would like some tea. Polly, put the kettle on. Polly, put the kettle on. Polly, put the kettle on. The king must have his tea. Suki, take it off again. Suki, take it off again. Suki, take it off again. The king shall have Sorry, Jester. Did I hurt you? Is my lip bleeding? No. Is it swollen? No, I don't think so. Does it hurt? No. Oh. But I have to be very careful. I'm in training. Oh. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Very good. <laughs> A peck of pickled pooper peppers. 
Are you sure it's not swollen? No, it looks just fine. Peter Pooper Popper Peter. Michael Peepers Popper Peter. Piper Peter. Piper Peeper. Drat! I'm ruined. What have we here? Oh, a bit of nothing, Your Majesty. Uh, a little experiment. Surely not fit for a king. Sing a song of sixpence, a pocket full of rye. Four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie. When the pie was opened, the birds began to sing. Wasn't that a dainty dish to set before the king? <laughs> One suggestion. Anything, Your, your Majesty. <clears throat> Next time, <laughs> hold the birds. He's porridge hot. He's porridge cold. He's porridge hot. He's porridge cold. I like mine in the pot nine days old. <laughs> Without any birds. to a celebration in honor of old King Cole. For he has reigned over our peaceful kingdom for lo, these hundred years. Three presents. Okay, okay. trumpet. We heard it too. They must be announcing the party. We would have been on time, but we ran into a bit of trouble. What kind of trouble? Not again. Yep. Jack and you went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and you came tumbling after. Look who's going to the party.
what did I say? Go home, go. I'm afraid he'd get lost on the way to the party, but I knit the king some mittens from his wool. Oh, they're beautiful, Mary. What was that? Tiger. That was no tiger, that was a very small tiger. Oh, look, come here, tiger. He was the sweetest one in the litter. That's why I'm giving him the king. What are you taking, Jack? My favorite thing in the world that I said I would never give up, ever. Your blanket? You're giving your blanket away? Oh, Jack, that's really special. There it goes again. We better be off. Wait a minute. Where's Blue? Long. Jack and Jill, the hill, you know. Oh, yeah. Did you find someone to watch over your cows and sheep while you're gone? The farmer in the dell said that he'd keep an eye on them. You have to watch them every minute, you know. What are you taking to the king? Your horn? I want him to have it. But how will you call your sheep and cows in? I'll just call them. Here, sheep, come here, cows. That's what I do anyway. I don't even play the horn. It just makes me look important. <laughs> What special presents for old King Cole? A golden horn. And white wool mittens. And a pair a tiny kitten. All wrapped up in my warm yellow blanket. We're off to a party for old King Cole. For old King Cole, that merry old soul. We're off to a party with presents galore. Hop, two, three. Where are 
Warming up. Warming up. We got a million routines. A million of them. Okay, ducks, fall in. We will demonstrate a number that has made us famous from here to uh, there. We'd love to see more, but we're a little late and we have to be going. How can you be late when it's still so early? Maybe London time is different. London? Did you say London? Yes, we're going to see King Cole. King Cole? Did you say King Cole? Yes, I did. He's having a party. <gasps> a party? Did you say? Yes, she, she said, said party. Well, you don't have to scream. I heard you the first time. Come on, let's go. Wait, old King Cole is my favorite king. Old King Cole is your only king. Gee, smart. I like that. I was testing you. Uh, you have the honor of carrying Tweedle Duck's gift to the king. Is it heavy? We still have a long way to go. Heavy? <laughs> Why no? It's light as a balloon. No, 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 no. Light as a. I'm giving you just one more chance. Light as a... We don't know the answer. I'm sorry. But now we're late. We have to be going. But wait, wait. It's a feather. Light as a feather. Don't you get it? Oh, never mind. Would you take a simply spectacular feather to the king's party for me? It won't be hard to carry. It's very... Light. I'd be glad to. <laughs> Dimitri! I... Oh. The feather! No! <sighs> That's the finest ever grown by man or duck. Thank you, Dweedle. I know he'll love it. Okay, you quackers. Line them up. Let's hit it. Six little ducks <laughs> and I once two. Fat ones, two ones, hair ones, two but a one. one little duck with a feather on his back. He led the others with a quack, quack, quack. Be quack. Hear ye, hear ye. It has come to my attention that there has been some shoving and pushing in the royal line which leads to the royal party. And that some people are dropping their litter in the royal street. Will the parties responsible please identify themselves by cheering loudly? That's right. I got tired of looking at everything straight. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon the crooked style. He bought the crooked cat, which caught the crooked mouse, and they all lived together in the crooked little house. <laughs> We're very happy to meet you, Crooked Man. I hope you can help us. We're a little late and we have to go straight to London. Oh, can't go straight to anywhere from here. Got to go crooked. 
From Wibbleton to Wobbleton is 15 miles. From Wobbleton to Wibbleton is 15 miles. From Wibbleton to Wobbleton, from Wobbleton to Wibbleton, from Wibbleton to Wobbleton is... 15 miles. But we aren't going to Wibble... Let me try it. Crooked. going to a party, aren't you? <laughs> How'd you know? The crooked little bird told me. Why don't you come with us? Why, I can't. Why? Gotta tend to crooked land. Just look at this tree. It wants to go straight. Tree! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta watch it every minute. <laughs> oh, but I would be mighty grateful if you take my present to the king. Oh, he's got a tough job, too. Ah, I have just the thing for him. <laughs> well, here it is. <laughs> My very own crooked sixpence. <laughs> Only one of a kind. <laughs> We'd be proud to take it with us if we could figure out how to get there. Well, go to the edge of crooked land. But it's crooked. We can't get there that way. Oh, here, let me up. Watch. Just take me a second to straighten this out. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Here you are. <laughs> well, have a good trip. Thank, Thank you, Cookie Man. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Say hello to the king. Bye-bye. Womp, 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 womp. 
A golden horn and white wool mittens. In the pail, a tiny kitten. And Dweedle's feathers soft and light. A crooked sixpence, shiny and bright. All wrapped up in my warm yellow blanket. We're off, We're off to, to a party for old King Cole. For old King Cole, that merry old soul. How many gifts for him today? One, two, three. Oh, no. Look at poor old Humpty. just left him here, broken. They probably didn't want to be late for the party. But we'll help him. Even if it means we miss the party, won't we? Mm-hmm. OK. Then let's get started. a deliverance from this grievous reef on which I have so inexpediently founded. Ah. He's glad he's not in prison. Ah. Well, greetings, salutations, buongiorno, salute. What did he say? I think oh. he said hello. Oh. You're as good as ever now. Yes, yes, the felicitous resolution of an importunate tale. <laughs> he's glad. He already said that. Ah, this ovoid rotundity thanks you. How may I make reparation? If you mean, what can you do for us? First, you could use words that are clear and simple. We're going on our way to King Cole's party. We're late. Oh. And I think we're lost. But if you give us directions we can't understand, we're still lost. Ah, yes, 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 quite right. <clears throat> Clear, simple, hmm. It's a difficult thing. But after all you've done for me, <clears throat> now, you're not lost. You're with me, and I know the, uh, how do you say it? Shortcut. Let's go. Which way? First, Let's get started. make a thumb pull. And now, prepare for some verbal prestidigitation. <laughs> Humpty. Uh, a thousand pardons. The magic word. Uh, clear. Simple. Oh, no. Uh, must have been that bump on the head. Oh, please concentrate. That's it. Bravo. What? 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 Are you ready? We're yeah. ready. Holy. Master Jack?
Master and Mistress Spirat. <laughs> Don't you have some place to go? I mean, to see or something? <laughs> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. <laughs> and Peter Piper picked a papa for people and papa. Oh, drat. <laughs> oh, come in. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Oh, drat. <laughs> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs>
Well, hi there, friends. Oh. <laughs> uh, darling. <clears throat> Welcome, honored guests. <clears throat> Boy, am I glad you could make it. <laughs> dear, you're the king. Royal. Royal. Oh, dear. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, you honor us with your presence at this illustrious occasion as we gather to celebrate, uh, celebrate um, uh, you. No. Uh, yes, that's it. it's a party to celebrate you. No, dear. Uh, hmm? The party's to celebrate you. Yeah, you. I said you. Yes, no, you. 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 No, not me. You. You? You? you. you? Me? You. Oh, no. Dear, hmm? <clears throat> in thanks for 100 years of peace under a king who is generous and kind, who loves dancing and music, and even if he is a little bit forgetful, he never ever forgets his people. <laughs> and now the king will survey his bounteous gifts. His what? His presence. Let's go. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Well, now this will come in real handy. <laughs> kind of takes a load off you, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, no, dear. This is a silver serving platter fit for a king's table. Oh. <laughs> it's real thoughtful. Uh, come along, dear. <clears throat> oh. Now this. <sighs> Make a good paperweight, I'll bet. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> this is a ruby uh, worth a fortune, you may be sure. What do you do with it? Do with it? Do we? You don't do anything with it. It's a jewel. It's meant to be looked at. What kind of nonsense is that? Oh. <clears throat> we can't give our gifts to the king. They don't seem very special now. I want to go home. Now, now, my little friends. There are kings and kings. Oh, here. <laughs> a trophy, I'll bet, uh, from when I won the pieing contest. This maybe. is a goblet, solid gold. Oh, perhaps we should get on with the dancing. Well, the king is simply delighted with all your gifts. Aren't you, Your Majesty? I'm... Of course you are. They're the most beautiful things I've ever seen. What would a king want with my blanket? Well, now even a king needs to keep warm, huh? Fiddlers, guests, we're all going to dance now. Let's all make a circle excuse and... Excuse uh... me, uh, excuse me, your lustrous, uh, resplendent, uh, uh, numinous, uh, majesty. That must be you. <laughs> no, dear, it's you. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, humpy old man, egg. <laughs> You're looking very uh, together. <laughs> yes, thank you, Your Majesty. And uh, thanks to my colleagues, uh, my compeers, my cronies, uh, my friends. <laughs> my friends. Uh, one foot up. One foot down. One, one foot, foot up, up. One foot down. One foot 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 up. Well. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? <laughs> How do you do that, anyway? Wait a minute, that's the real thing. Where's the kitten? Here, Your Majesty. 
kitten is this? Yours, if you want it, your majesty. Mine? Yes, sir, but if you don't like it... Don't like him? I've always wanted a kitten. <laughs> but, dear, you have a Bengal tiger. But he's too big to sit in my lap. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> What's this? It's a horn. Well, I can see that, dear. But the king has his own trumpeter. <laughs> but I want my own trumpet. But I want to write my own name. Now, there's a good idea. Tied together with their own string so they won't get lost. <laughs> Somebody knows me pretty well. <laughs> now, Peaches, look at this. Yes, a coin. But what else? It's crooked. Exactly. <laughs> but, dear, the royal coffers are filled with coins and none of them are crooked. But that's just the point. <laughs> This is one of a kind. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is my lucky day. <laughs> oh. Whose blanket is this? Whose? Whose? Mine? Here. You hang on to this. A good blanket is worth more than gold. Yes, Your Highness, but I want you to have it. I am honored more than you know. I had a blanket once myself, once upon a time. Hardest thing I ever had to let go of. <clears throat> What's your name, little fellow? I'm Jack, and these are my friends. And Mary knit the mittens all by herself from her very own lamb's wool. And Jill brought her favorite kitten. And Little Boy Blue brought you his horn. And the leader of the six little ducks sent the finest feather that he ever grew. And the crooked man sent his crooked coin. And Humpty got us here on time. And with a bit of verbal prestidigitation. Uh, with what? Uh, with uh, a magic word, Your Majesty. Oh. Well... Thank you all for the greatest of gifts. <laughs> gifts that are given from the heart. They make me feel like a king. And now, let the dance begin! <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
So the children sang and danced at the party of their lives, for there wouldn't be another one like it for a hundred years. After the party, did they go home? <laughs> you bet. Humpty Dumpty saw to that. And the king kept their presents? Kept them? <laughs> he would have traded everything on the table for the gifts the children gave from their hearts. <laughs> Sleepy Jack, you missed the story. It's all right. We'll read it again another night. Very little brain. He certainly finds quite a lot of excitement. Who, me? 
Oh, I'm just looking for some honey. Would you happen to have any honey? I'm sorry, Pooh, I don't. But I do have four classic stories in the Hundred Acre Wood. With you, and Tigger, and Eeyore, and Christopher Robin. You're all so much fun. Exactly. Well, actually, Mr. Narrator, I'm rather hungry. I do almost anything to fill my tummy. Sounds familiar, Pooh. Did you forget in Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree, you take to the air when your honey pot is bare? I shall fly like a bee. Up to the honey tree, see? Then it's a windy day in the Hundred Acre Wood in the Academy Award winning Winnie the Pooh and the Blustery Day. So that's when I saved poor little Piglet and everybody threw a party just for me. You are a hero. And you remember Winnie the Pooh and Tigger too. Hello, Pooh. Think, think, think. What is that song that Tigger's always singing? The wonderful thing about Tigger's is Tigger's the wonderful things. The tops are made of the river, the bottoms are made of the springs. The bouncy, trouncy, flouncy, pouncy, fun, 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 fun. Uh, but the most wonderful thing about Tigger's is I'm the only one. Oh, yes. That was the time we all tried to take the bounce out of Tigger. Uh, don't be ridiculous. It didn't work out very well. <laughs> that is, not as well as Eeyore's birthday party. That's right. In Winnie the Pooh and a Day for Eeyore, Eeyore thinks everyone's forgotten his birthday. Nobody cares. But you and your friends prove him wrong with a surprise party. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm sure kids of all ages will really have fun sharing these adventures with you, Pooh, and all your friends from the Hundred Acre Wood. Why, certainly! There's one, two, three, four. Pots of honey? <laughs> no, four Winnie the Pooh storybook videos. Oh, bother. There's nothing more fun than collecting all four. <laughs> Except collecting honey, of course. TTFN, ta-ta for now. <laughs>